This episode of Trips to the Store has been brought to you with the help of viewers like you. Transmissions wouldn't be the show it is today if it wasn't for all of your support. Join our Patreon today at transmissionspodcast.com slash support. Welcome to the Transmissions Trips to the Store, where we show off all the awesome Transformer stuff we got this week. This video is part of our regular Transmissions Podcast. You can check that out at our website, transmissionspodcast.com. We do two shows every week. Every Wednesday is Transmissions, the show all about Transformers, toys, and merchandise. And every Friday is Transmissions Alt Mode, which is all about Transformers comics and media. And this week we're reviewing Transformers number 41. We've also got our bi-weekly Transformers Live Play RPG podcast, Empire of Rust. That comes out every other Monday. So listen for that and uh, enjoy the adventures of uh, uh, Mike's Empire of Rust crew. Uh, we also have Transmissions Extra every once in a while. So, uh, you know, we talk about stuff that's not Transformers related. So all not these podcasts... You, <laughs> you can blame Daryl for it not coming out. What? <laughs> <laughs> But all these shows, all our Transformers transmission shows are available through our website and through every podcast uh, service you can think of. So Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, YouTube, Spotify, Amazon, Facebook, it's everywhere. So, of course, transmissions is powered by you. So thank you to everyone out there who supports us on Patreon and PayPal, all our Donatrons help keep the show going and we really appreciate it if you do sign up to become a donatron you get some awesome perks uh including some merchandise at the higher levels that comes out every three months so if you'd like to support us go to transmissionspodcast.com slash support and another way to help us out is to buy some merchandise from our t public store and that's at transmissionspodcast.com slash shop you can check out the shirt jeremy's modeling right below me that's a cool transmissions themed shirt. And we've got lots more where that came from on our store. Of course, if you buy anything from Deep Public through our link, that still helps out the show. So if you're just looking for any kind of cool t shirt, you know, any theme t shirt, pop culture t shirt on Deep Public, just use that link, transmissionspodcast.com slash shop. All right, let's uh, get into what we got this week. And we're going to start it off with Daryl. All right. Once again, I start first because I don't have anything really new, except I do have the Beast Wars annual that came out this week. Uh, this is cover A. I do not recall who did it, um, but uh, eh. Beast Wars annual. I think all the lines uh, are getting an annual at this point. Um, it's another another book to put in the. Uh, uh, to, to kind of uh, cram into the year um, just to kind of fill it out. But I got that. Uh, I did grab a couple of my, uh, my figures to show just uh, because I didn't have anything new. And, uh, and these are some of my bigger ones. So uh, you'll have to bear with me while I, I, I make these, uh, you know, um, make you all jealous. Um, this is a, <laughs> Canadian box, uh, G1 Jazz. And so this is, uh, yeah, Canadian box, G1 Jazz. Uh, this is price there. I don't know what that says. What does that say on it? Mm. I don't know what that is. It's, a, it's from a store called Consumers Distributing. Uh, it does no longer exist. Um, but, uh, yeah, so... G1 Jazz looks pretty cool. Very nice looking box. This is Canadian boxed G1 Prowl. Another very good looking figure in its box. Are those original or did you kind of get the boxes after the figures? They came with their boxes. I uh, provided the uh, bubbles. For the inside, they're, so they're repro bubbles. Um, just makes them look so much better, you know. Yeah. Um, 
the theme here. And they are the theme is Canadian boxes. This is a Canadian boxed gnaw. The Canadian box of gnaw is actually kind of hard to find. Um, so uh, I'm pretty happy to have this. This is a Toys R Us uh, one. 1597 this guy cost. Uh, Fring Fringalo. That's the French word or French name for gnaw. Fringalo. <laughs> um, I would guess you're mispronouncing that maybe. <laughs> Well, you don't think my French is any good? I don't know. I <laughs> it's probably it's. I mean, you're Canadian. It's got to be better than mine. <laughs> yeah, it's F R I N G A L O, Fringalo. <laughs> I mean, it, good enough for me. I I took Latin as my foreign language. Yeah. Uh, this is uh. This is another Autobot G1 box, or sorry, Canadian box G1 blaster. This is one that uh, came like this, and the uh, the blaster inside is actually still sealed on the bubble that it came in. That it's so nice. this is this is brand new. The box has been beaten to death, but uh, it is still actually <laughs> brand new inside. Um, so yeah, this is a, this is a nice looking one. Uh, I. If I ever did find a new a new box for it, I, I'd swap it out. But uh, but yeah, it's uh, it is brand new inside. Uh, this is a this is a Zellers sticker. So Zellers is another fine Canadian establishment that is no longer around. Twenty four ninety nine for Blaster. And last one that I, I pulled for tonight. This is the last Canadian box that I uh, that I pulled. I have more. I have actually a few more. Uh, and this is Soundwave. And uh, yeah, so Soundwave, a lot of boxed Soundwaves, um, they're missing this little white cardboard piece that uh, sits over top of the uh, the, the styrofoam on, in the box there, uh, underneath the window. Um, and uh, mine has it, so there you go. I, I'm pretty happy to have that. Uh, this box here is obviously was probably used as a present for somebody, so it's got some rips up here or whatnot. Um, so again, if I could find a new box for this, I'd, I'd be happy to replace it. But uh, yeah, so Soundwave's French name is Radar. Yeah. Is that yeah. styrofoam original, like from the '80s, or is it reproduction? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all original uh, stuff. Yeah. So there's no uh, there's no repro on here at all. He's uh, he's original. Well, I mean we, we all know that styrofoam won't break down because it's from the 80s. No. <laughs> Not for a few hundred years. And uh, and yeah, that's it. That's uh, that's the the old as new stuff I brought. Uh, I just kind of I just grabbed it from up there. I was looking for something and I was like, I'll just grab these again. Paid enough for them. I should be able allowed to show them off more than once. But that's it. Like your thrilling thirty Metroplex, <laughs> I have not shown it off for a number of years now. Yeah. It's due. <laughs> if we ever need a co-host, we'll just sit in. Yep. <laughs> well, uh, I have a toy that I ordered uh, from Best Buy because they happen to have some Transformers in stock, and I had uh, some Best Buy bonus points I could use up and uh, I got me a studio series wheeljack from the Bumblebee movie nice. so cool there Canadian he is box? Uh, have not <laughs> it's not a Canadian box <laughs> um, and uh, yeah so I have not opened it yet but I did like the look of this wheeljack from the Bumblebee movie from the Cybertron wheeljack so picked it up and this is Studio Series 81. So, I mean, cool. you can't say that you never bought a movie line figure now. You just I cannot to buy say them that, from, no. You, you, you bought them from the best part of the, you know, the best live action movie. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay, Jeremy, uh, we're coming back to you because I think you've got some more 
awesome stuff to show us it's for some, yeah. uh, continuing from last week. Yeah, I, I mentioned last week that um, Hasbro surprised um, those of us that got the um, some of the promotional figures um, with a second box, and I had a like or FedEx had an issue delaying mine, and it, it came the day after we recorded last week, which means I, I have you know more things to show off when I wasn't going to have anything. So uh, I think Daryl, you said that these completed the first wave of legacy with what I got. I so, think so. Um, I'm going to start off. I haven't opened two of these because I've been kind of busy, but we got a legacy R prime universe RC. So nice. Um, I think I've heard not so good things about this figure. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, it, uh, the alt mode does look great on the pictures. Um, I, I think, the robot mode looks great too. I just, if, if she could stand up and be stable standing up, I call that a win. Because with, with any figure that I've had that has been a motorcycle like this, the legs have always been an, an issue. Mm -hmm. Particularly, I remember the, um, uh, what was it? There was an RC back in like the early 2000s that was a motorcycle. It, it was before the live action movies even. And it was almost impossible to stand up. So this one, it, it, from the picture, it looks like the feet will hold her up. And the motorcycle even has a little kickstand. So hopefully it'll you know, be able to stand in both modes. I think that was Next Energon one. RC from uh, was it? Unicron. Trilogy. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> and we were all just excited to get an RC, period. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, next thing I had is uh, G1 Skids from the Legacy line. Um, this is really dark in the picture. Just really dark in that box. But um, this one looks really, really G1-ified in, in, in the looks. And I have never had a Skids before. So I'm, I'm excited to open them up and, and see. It's very much the boxy 80s car. Mm-hmm. So he also comes with the little inner John weapon thing. So we'll see how that works. And yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to checking him out. And then the one I did open because I just, I was very curious about this figure and I, I really like it a lot is prime universe bulkhead. The, the G one of bulkhead that's really boxy and stuff. The transformation was very frustrating at times, but after having gone back and forth a couple of times, it, you know, it's just that initial figuring things out and trying to interpret the directions when you get stuck. That was just, it was just frustrating, but now I got it and it makes a lot of sense. Very kind of uh, ingenious ways of doing a few things I, I thought was interesting. Um, he's got, those wheels on the back are fake. They don't do anything. They, oh, really? I mean, I mean they, they move um, from position to position in the transformation, but they are not, they're basically like spare tires in the alt, alt mode. So um, the, I, I like how, what they did here with the weapon. Um, essentially, it's a ball that opens up. Oops. If I can do it. Very, the joints are very tight, even on the weapon. This is good podcasting. This is a great podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I have a thing I can stick into the. Bow chicka wow wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you'll have to trust me on this. It <laughs> this thing is not opening up. I don't know. But um, essentially, the ball opens up. This is and eight and up, right? These are eight and up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So essentially, Good. you can see the seam there. It, it opens yeah. up, and there's a, a thing for him to hold, and then it closes around his hand. Hmm. Um, but I, I really like it. Um, I was thinking that basically it was going to be a shell former with this backpack here, and it's not. This um, 
essentially just goes on and covers the bed of the truck and the truck offers weapon storage. So it's, you know, it, it's really neat what they did here. I think it got a lot of flack when the initial pictures came out, but having it in the hand, it, it is a really good figure. Um, you know, you, you do have the, the accurate head there to, to the prime show. Uh, but the, you know, the, the boxiness, there might be some people that still have a problem with it, but I think it's fine. He, he's a, still a bulky um, military vehicle, and they have the mace weapon. So that's really all I need in the bulkhead is him to be green, bulky, have the right head, and have the mace. So, so thanks to Hasbro for sending those over. The, that's, you know, it was really unexpected. And... Um, you know, I, I'm excited to see this because I, I wasn't really expecting to pick up any of these three I showed off today. Cool. Very cool. Okay, well, that will do it for this week's trips to the store. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Again, we want to uh, Remind you, you can become a Donatrion and help us out by going to transmissionspodcast.com slash support. And that's where you can sign up and you know help contribute to the show. And that helps us keep everything on track and keep the keep good content come to you every week. And if you want to leave us feedback, you can go to transmissionspodcast.com slash feedback. That's where you can Send us uh, voicemails, emails, contact us on social media, and even leave a comment right down below in this YouTube video if you want. And uh, we love getting feedback, and we do like to respond to it on the show. So send it in. All right, everyone. Thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Later. <laughs>